Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured, and this is our Valiant Lady food and restaurant review. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. On with our restaurant and food review of Valiant Lady Linz, and we're starting off at Extra Virgin. Extra Virgin, we didn't do this on Scarlet. We didn't know. This was our first time going into the Italian eatery. And what did you think? Um, now, the night didn't start well for me because we didn't get a suitcase until right at the death. So I... You I've, got ready with about 20 minutes to go, didn't you? I wouldn't even say it was 20 minutes. But you I, look gorgeous, though. Oh, bless you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I did enjoy it. It wasn't as... It, italian -y, as I imagined it would be. <laughs> For an Italian restaurant. It, it has all the traditions of an Italian restaurant, as you will have just seen on the restaurant. You start off with some appetizers, you've got a pasta course, you've got a, a charcuterie board to share. It's got all the parts for an Italian. But, but then you had that. <laughs> <laughs> then I had that. that. That's their crispy artichoke. And you had the calamari. Mm. Were you not as pleased with the calamari there? I've had I've had nice calamari at sea. Um, it's not that they were bad. It was no, no, decent it was very calamari. Nice. It I was very it. nice. Again, it it was it was good. Oh, oh. I can't imagine why you took that picture. I, I don't. It's just a crispy artichoke. I actually really enjoyed that. It's it was first very time tasty. I've never had one before. I, I mean, the charcuterie board was lovely. Your crispy artichoke was lovely. It just, I don't know what it was. It didn't feel Italian, Italian. I think I know what it was. And I've not it? thought about this because we haven't we don't talked talk about, about it just it. before We don't this. do it until we do it. If you look at Italians on other cruise ships, such as Giovanni's, uh, Sabatini's, they have that Italian feel for it. It, it seems more authentic. restaurant. Yeah, they tend to have more Italian waiters in it. Yes. So you get that more, it feels I authentic. Mean, look, fish. The sea bass was fantastic. The crispy sea bass. It was beautiful. It was cooked beautifully. It just... The the pasta the, was gorgeous. Well, Yours. that's it. They brought us a pasta dish to share. Like, don't stick. get a full pasta course each. No. One to share is fine. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. What were you doing with that poor fish? It, it was a springy fish, obviously. It was getting excited at you eating that fish. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> but it was a very tasty it, fish. Really well cooked, wasn't it? Yes, I enjoyed it. Um, and I have to say that, for me, everything about uh, Extra Virgin, it was done extremely well. It was. The, the, the steak, uh, you know, I put that picture in there just to show how juicy it is, because you don't always get the same thing on, on the video. It was so tasty. I mean, you really enjoyed it. You did really enjoy it. I remember that. That pasta. Exceptional. What was it? Ox was it tail. Cheek. Ox cheek. So good. And then for desserts, again, I had the... the you said, I wonder if they have an affogato on it. Affogato. And it has an, aff, an affogato menu. Yeah, it was beautiful. Now, you had the hazelnut thing. Chestnut. Oh. It? I think that's what you just said on the menu. Everything really seems quite perky on your tip. What, what, what am I doing there? Yours was beautiful to look at. It was, and it tasted really nice as well, if and you like chestnut. Yeah, now I'm used to normally them pouring the coffee in front of you. They didn't do that. It did say on the menu that it was table side prep, but mm -hmm. this was the inaugural cruise, this was the first night. I just don't think they were ready for that. No, maybe not. But we gave it an eight. I thought it was a really good Italian, just not quite authentic enough. Maybe, maybe. oh, good grief. What are you doing there, then? I'm singing in one of those karaoke booths. This is not what was supposed to be on the menu. <laughs> That was you singing for your supper. Oh. If you've not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. Oh, yes, please. And if you have already, thank you. And yes, thank you if you already have. I thought I'd cover off a couple of foodie extras as well that we did. Extras in that we did extras and you have to pay for. You have to pay for and there weren't a restaurant. No. So the first one that we did was called FOTG. Can you remember what that stood for? For Silence. Uh, no. Food of the gods. That's right. Food of the gods. How so when we went on it? Scarlet, if you remember, we did their shop by shop for shop one, which was a cocktail making and photography one. Yes. On this particular one, it's an Instagram one of food. So you do a load what, of food. What? what why? Now, I have to admit, I cheated 
Why? Because it appears everyone else had their eyes shut while they were doing the food prep, and I kept mine open, so I apologise. Oh, you know, I, I obviously had an advantage on that. Good grief. But we made three like cosmetics. brunch, I have to public service announcement. If you are doing this, do not have a big breakfast. No. Which do we, not have a big breakfast. Or book a big lunch afterwards. Don't do you get any, quite a lot of food. Just have a little pastry or something or a coffee. Do not, because you're going to have brunch. But it was fantastic. Uh, Jake and Katrina were fantastic they hosts were lovely, for it. So lovely. The the talk you through one plating up the food and then how to get some really good Instagram pictures. Yes. And I'm not going to say whose is who. One of us had his eyes shut while they were doing it, oh, as we could see nice. earlier, and and the other one didn't. And I mean the food was lovely. So you make it yourself, not the tuna. You don't do the tuna, but um, and then you eat your food. So be careful with the chili flakes as well. We do. And then the second extra that we do is the grog walk. Now, people might think a grog walk, that's not a foodie thing. We did this on the first night. We did do this on the first night. The, the grog walk itself, you start, you go around four different bars, mm -hmm. but there's also nibbles in the bars as well. So don't have, have, have a lot of food before this either. No, and we made the mistake of starting this at nine o'clock. When we just had dinner. Straight after we'd just been to Extra Virgin. So we were having drinks, it was the first day, had a, a large meal, had drinks and then it's straight into this and it was two hours it, it was like a marathon and you had the forced friends forced fun malarkey going on as well you did where you're part of a group and they have you doing activities or special missions as they call with it with little cards with little cards and we weren't the only ones who just eaten that day yeah but it was a really good event i mean you can tell at this part here they brought all this food out in pink agave which is their awesome mexican one. And you can see that in our Scarlet food review. We went in there. But absolutely no one ate hardly anything. No. I think one or two people just tried a little bit. There is a small upgrade for it, but well worth the cost. Oh, now we've gone to the wake now. We have gone Love to the, the wake. Love the wake. The wake is their, I want to say, almost Ste like their speciality Steak one. Steak and seafood, but it's included within the price. It is, because on Virgin Voyages, they're all included. There is no... Can I say something about the nighttime wake here? I preferred it to nighttime wake on Scarlet. Oh, massively. And and we did have an, an extra thing, but we didn't... It, oh, that bread. It, I found another bread that I like on, in, on the sea, but that bread's still very good. That's second bread. Cunard Stubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks very similar as well. Yes. Needs the glaze on top. Um, oh, that yeah, chowder. Th that's their clam chowder, oh. which you really, really oh, like. So you also good. had that for breakfast the I following just, day. You know what? We should have eaten before we did this. Are you getting hungry now? I am. Do you fancy clam chowder? Oh. I'm not going to be able to make it as good as no. they do on the wake. But the, <laughs> it is a really good restaurant. I actually just had a cob salad to start with. Wedge, wedge, was wedge it salad. Wedge salad. A cob wedge salad. It Cheese, bit of bacon, then big Then we had the olives. We paid $20. Oh, olives, $20 for these olives, honey. <laughs> so $20 for the oysters, which were absolutely fantastic. They were so fresh and so good. And that, uh, the... Shallot vinaigrette. Oh, amazing. Uh, really tasty. Amazing. I mean, it is $20, and you can get a dozen for, I think it's 40 or 45 40 would make more sense given it's twice the price of this. No, I thought that was 30 for 12 actually. Was I thought it? it was cheaper. Okay. It said on the menu a few seconds ago. Uh, but I think it's worth paying for the upgrade on it. When we were on Scarlet, we had the big sort of tomahawk steak to share, which yes. that for me was much better value. Yeah. Then on to the main courses, you had the uh, filet mignon. I did. Their roast garlics are amazing. Oh, they're so good. And you had the lamb. And I had the lamb. Both then, of which were perfectly cooked. Oh, I've just remembered what sauce I had. I had like a a bone marrow. Oh, Bernays. Bernays. Oh, my goodness me. It was me. really good, wasn't it? Oh, look. And we'd so got dressed up that day because it was our anniversary. And it was Saturday night. And for dessert, they made us this absolutely awesome cake, which oh, was, we was so nice. so full, so we couldn't finish it. But fantastic food, and we've given it a, a solid 9 out of 10. Oh, yes, I totally agree. Oh, we're in the way. Where are we going now? Test kitchen. Oh. You got confused there for a second. I did. Didn't you? I'm so hungry. This is making me so hungry. <laughs> Test kitchen is their experimental kitchen. Like a yes. Like like a sort of Heston's fusion, yeah. a fusion type one where Michelin star. Yeah. 
really, really good food. What was interesting with the little tweaks that they'd done since we went on Slight Scarlet, yeah. where one of the courses had changed completely, the dessert. Yes. The mushroom one had little Still tweaks. Chocolate. Yeah, I mean, But it we'll, is... we'll see that as we go through. What do you think of the first starter, the mushroom, and the cocktail berry? I mean, we've left the best on the list. Wow. I love this wow. restaurant. I can't wait. I mean, I don't want to rush it, but... You know some of the dishes that are coming up, don't you? Yeah, like murder plate. Yeah. yeah. I have to say that mushroom, to quote Tim Tracker, I could eat that all day long. <laughs> so good. And the cocktail. Oh, oh my goodness. So we decided to go with the cocktail pairing again. Again. Which seemed like a tremendous idea. Because it was the last night. It was. Until the following morning, it seemed like less of a good idea then. Uh-huh. But it is really good. They come and they explain what each of the cocktails and, are. And what how it complements the dish and... Uh, just to what flavours to look out for. Oh, I and it, love it. It's amazing how the cocktail changes when you start eating as well. Yes, yes. So one of them, the ginger one, which we'll talk about in a minute, which changed completely. About? You'll see in a second. Oh. I think you like that one, though. I... So excited. Oh. Ready? Yes. On the floor. Don't forget to... Oh, that smells so good. Oh, wow. What is that noise? Are you ready for me? Oh, the bread, the bread. All right, the second, second course on the menu, we do have corn-fit egg yolk mm-hmm. and um, English beef, which is nice and crunchy in the bottom. We do have a kale puree, uh, edible flowers, virgin caviar, Ooh. and uh, the bread is a dark Guinness bread. Enjoy. Awesome, thank you. Thank you, Vega. Yeah. Ooh. I don't remember caviar being in this frog. I don't remember caviar being in this frog. I just remember it being pea and egg. Is that good? So we just had the pea, egg and caviar and some nice bread. What did you think? Peas have never tasted so much like peas. <laughs> they taste very pea. Yeah, but they were like, they were like pea jewels. They almost had a, a like... Like optimal peas. Optimal peas. <laughs> and then the pairing. Yeah, the, I mean the cocktail pairing with that. The waiter said he felt that was quite a bitter one. But I thought it went really well. The piece comes smoky. Mm-hmm. And I think that cuts through it really yeah. nice. Um, yeah, because I said quite needy, didn't I? And like you say, it yeah. cuts through it, but wow. On to I'm... the next course. One more cocktail. Do you like the cocktails? I this am was... so hungry right now. This was the ginger one that I'm referring to. That when we tried it here, it was really gingery. Yes. But the second... Initial reaction to the ginger drink. I don't know if it'll do the same. Is that quite ginger? That's like a ginger shot. And then. We were having the, the scallop and ham course here with the broth. Did we, yes, because they do a soup, of, like a broth, like you say, over the top. Which the, they'll come around in a second and do it. And then when you have the, the ginger with this, it uh-huh. completely changes not only the taste of the cocktail, but the taste of the dish substantially. I honestly can't recommend people get this cocktail pair enough. I think it was $35 a piece. Don't ask me. That's the top side. It might have been less than that. I am. Yeah, I mean, I would... I, I just need to go back. I love it here. It is, I think, our favourite restaurant. I was going to say that. Wake, but no, I think it's... And, and it's not even like a romantic... So we just had the scallop dish. What do you think? Well, the broth, the, I, I mean, it's just ruined me so soup in the sachet forever. I can't have them now. It was good, that one, eh? So it had some scallops in it, it had a little bit of 
Some, some like serrano ham. Some samphire or something like that. But the broth were ridiculously good. Oh, I know it's perfume. And then we we had the ginger cocktail that you still got in your hand. Which, yeah, you finish it. You need to finish all cocktails. You sweet nature perfume. Which is so much nicer with that food, isn't it? Yes. When we tried it beforehand, I thought that was quite strong. Because it is essentially just a ginger shot. The booze Yeah, but when you've had the scallops, that's really good. Oh, so good. On to the next colours. So if you look out for our upcoming merchandise shop, which will include <laughs> broth flavoured perfume, apparently, according to Lindsay. Parfum. Parfum. On to the main cost. Now, normally, you've got a choice of venison or beef here. Yeah, and we just... It says venison on the menu, but they brought us beef. I think he said they didn't have venison. I don't night. know. We were too cocktailed out at this point. We I were. Feel. I mean... As you'll see, different cocktail again there. Just incredibly well presented. One of my favourite things about Test Kitchen is... The waiters and how they so engage engaging, with you. Yeah, de definitely. Now it was would, Roland we had here. Wasn't yeah, it? I would say that if I'd have known it was beef coming, I wouldn't. I would have asked for it pinker than that. Yeah, we asked for it medium, I think, didn't we? Because but I think we, that's because we, we thought, thought it was venison. venison. Yeah, again. But it was in, really well cooked. I mean, it's still the murder plate. It's not as murdery as it was. <laughs> But it's still... It doesn't look like something from an episode of CSI anymore. No, no. But it's still it's still lovely. We still enjoyed it. I'm glad we got to try the beef this time, but we'd done, like, we'd had beef, like, in a, as a course every every night. We have. I'm just going to go back to something that you mentioned earlier that you touched on, that it's a very social one. It's not a romantic restaurant. No, the lighting's not romantic. The setting is not romantic. But what happens? You end up talking with people at... All sides of you. Yes. Which we were talking to the couple who were on our right both at the sides, start, on sides. the left later on. Uh, and you end up talking about the food and what people are drinking and how does it go. Yeah, it's which not you awkward. Don't, no, it don't, it's not forced fun. Oh, not it, forced friends. No, it, it's just really Is that because we're British that we, we, we don't like that forced friends, forced fun thing. Either way, this restaurant puts you at ease. It does, because you, you're talking about the food and the experience. I, I loved it. I mean, oh. Cocktail number six. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some There we go. There's a lovely uh, blue cheese that we played on. There's the semi frozen, then we have spent the uh, half frozen. There's a layers, and the butter, little bit of honey, uh, pickled. Uh, Asian bear and uh, butter pecan. Enjoy them. Thank you. Give it a go. You also need. Yeah. I remember this being good last time. So, what did you think of the beef? It was beef, it wasn't venison, was it? No, it would no, that would definitely beef. I enjoyed it very much. Real tasty. That, those potatoes are so tasty. So good. Now we just had the blue cheese selling Fredo, which just, wow. I mean, the cocktail pairing really nice. Mm. But you know me. Well, blue cheese and ice cream should be a thing. I don't know. But it works, doesn't it? It really sure. does. I'm getting slightly uh, are, are the now. Is the cocktail pairing starting to kick in? It really was starting to kick in, and this was Scarlet the Night as well. The shots that we had to start with didn't help, I don't feel. <laughs> that was your idea, not mine. And again, they brought us a little anniversary oh, thing. I but know. this was the, the, the normal dessert. I liked the on chocolate it. one that we had last time. Not, I don't know if we were just chocolate it out. I preferred this one to the one that we had first time. Mate. Because it was slightly less chocolatey, which I found a little bit too intense at the end of the meal last time. Maybe. Maybe but so. this was one of the courses that had changed completely from our first visit. It, it, I wouldn't, I'm, it's more moose, isn't it? But I'm yeah. not going to say change completely, I don't think. Do you know? No, it's still chocolate. Well, yeah, it is still chocolate. You're quite right on there. And, and it, you I, still enjoyed it. And I guess to compliment the beef and, and the the red fruits on the sauce and everything, nine out of... 
I mean, laugh out of ten. Is I is just because you don't have to be offered it all again. Is that the only issue it that is. we dropped five point uh, point five? Razzle dazzle. Okay. So very different to the last one, to test yes. kitchen. Razzle dazzle is their restaurant for everyone. It's focused a lot around vegetarian and, and vegan, vegan food, food. Yes. But it does have meat food. It does. If if you do so desire it, uh, we had breakfast there and we had lunch there. Yes. Right? I've combined them into one video on here for us. And it's a really good place to go get breakfast. I'm, uh, is that your breakfast melon, isn't it? That's the what? That's the melon salad. So it's melon, but it's got a little bit of a spice sauce on. That's your jalapeno croissant. Oh, that was good. You that like was that, good. That was very good. Yes. You had this the morning after the test kitchen cocktails and scarlet night. N no, I didn't. You did. did I? Yeah. You had that for breakfast. Oh, it was good. So it's obviously very, very good if you've had a cocktail pairing the night before. It was very jalapeno we I've got to admit. <laughs> it woke you up. It didn't. I, I just had the sort of apple... Danish. Danish. Uh, very traditional, very tasty. Yes. Yeah. And then, I can't remember... Oh, So you... I had their um, wake you... breakfast, which is um, a vegetarian breakfast... With the impossible. Because it's the impossible patties. Yes. So it's the meat free patties. And you had uh, kind of like a ranchero's, eggs ranchero. I, g I guess so, yes. It was it very had nice. Peppers in and things. It didn't did. It? it was, again, it was very tasty. Um, I, I, just, I, can't, I can't tell you how hungry I am watching this. I know. The food on Virgin, if you've watched the Scarlet review, um, you it will have heard us talk about this. It was a surprise because it was never going to be. A this thing. and it absolutely is completely a food is paradise. We, everyone that we spoke to that had been on a cruise at the side of us, we were all pre playing, especially in t Test Kitchen. How much would Test Kitchen be as a speciality restaurant? And we're all putting as sort of 40 50 dollars. Like, You'd say the same for the wake, yeah. And it, it is fantastic. I haven't even touched on the galley. We're going to do a standalone video at some point on there because you could go in there every day. But Razzle Dazzle itself, eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, oh, oh no. There are so many places to eat. This and get it, a drink. There are. And not just a booze the, drink. This video could have been two hours long because you've got more than 20 places to eat. I didn't think that many people would sit here for two hours. So we no, have quite and slightly. I would have had to pause to go eat something. <laughs> but going back to what we said there, if you like food and you like cocktails, but food in particular, then Virgin's absolutely a ship for you. It, and so, we've geez. given it nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. yeah. I, I would struggle to say what I want them to change for that extra half point. It would be like on another cruise ship. Can I get an, a, a, another one of those, please? Because they would do that. You wouldn't have a problem ordering it on another on another ship. I don't think there'd be a problem here. We've just never asked for it. I honestly don't know what gets them the extra half point, but maybe when we go on their third ship, maybe they've done something <laughs> that gets the extra half point. Yeah, love but it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And cheers, Marky. Cheers, Lindsay. Oh, my goodness. And, <laughs> yeah. I, oh. Goldfish cocktail. I'd I, I just eat that cream right now. And have a lovely day. <laughs>